Hey guys, so it's the next day. Uh, just kind of cleaning up out here. I actually put up my sanders. So I might start um, back on the knives again pretty soon here. I don't know yet. But yeah, they're all anchored down. Yeah, except this one isn't so great because I had to use nails on that. I ran out of leg bolts. And then this one has only got these two spots right in here to screw down. If you screw them down too tight, the whole thing shifts forward. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. But I'm probably, I'll probably never use it anyway. I found uh, some switchblade crazy ever since I've seen that ad for buck knife, that buck knife, automatic knife there. And I found my switchblade that John gave me. And damn, oh, hey, shit. Nope. I just got done sharpening it. Dude, this thing's a razor blade. No word back on from buck knives yet, but hopefully soon. Also, I got my other knife. A knife there. I got a knife there. <laughs> Whatever. Shut up. It's fine. Yeah, same way. Yeah, right now. Ah, damn it, that hurt. I bet my finger on backwards. Um, figure it's about time Jack starts learning how to ride a bike, and what better place to ride, learn how to ride a bike than at the bike park? Or the skate park, I guess. It's a bike, skate, whatever. So I'm taking him down there. I don't know if it's going to work or not. I think if he sees little kids riding around and doing fun stuff that he'll uh, he'll want to do the same thing so you know fingers crossed we'll see what happens but um, I'm thinking he might try but I don't know about pedaling I'll send him down a small ramp and see what happens come on let's try it here just sit on it okay and daddy will push you please yeah you're not gonna fall down, Daddy will be here. Come on, bud. No, no. We come here. Just imagine how much more fun it'll be on a bicycle. Look, Jack. Hey. Watch me. Whoa! Watch out, Dad. <laughs> there, now go ride your bike. You go try your bike right now. <laughs> All right, well then you can go sit on the picnic table. Cause this is for bicycles, not for running. Yeah, down, nope, you go sit on the picnic table then. Okay. Either you ride your bike or you go sit on the picnic table. Okay. Yep, you just sit right there. I don't know guys, I don't know if this is gonna work or not. He doesn't seem too excited about it. Sit down. I can just take you home and go take a nap then. Because we came down here for you to ride your bike. Well then, you, what are you going to do? You're going to ride your bike? You want to go home and take a nap? You want to go home and take a nap? No, we're going to go home and take a nap. We're going to go take a nap. Oh, are you going to ride it? Alright, get on it then. Let Daddy help you. You sit down. Put your foot over it. There you go. Now sit down. There you go. And now you push down on, on this pedal. There you go. See? No. Push. You're all right. What's the matter? Your butt? Hey. 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 Let Daddy push you. All right. Let's just try that. Yeah. Let's go this way. See? Woo! Woo! All right, you want to go this way? Yeah. Is that fun? Yeah, See, now if you pedal, if you use your pedals right, here, should we go up on the ramp? Yeah. All right, maybe that'll help you teach or help you learn. All right, we're going to go up this ramp. Whoa! Okay. Now we gotta be careful. Yeah. Alright. Alright, now put that foot down. Other foot. There you go. Now we push forward. And then and then this pedal, we push forward. Come on, do it.
okay, I know, I know, pedaling is hard, I know, it's hard to figure out. Can't quite do it. Oh my god, he did it. One, two, three. Woo! <laughs> hurt my ass. Well, that did not go as planned. I thought. Uh, no, I can't get it. I thought that for sure that he would want to at least try. But he absolutely did not. And, uh,. It was a struggle. Um, I threatened with nap time and sitting on the, on the table and just doing whatever I, I could do to motivate him to want to at least just try it. And 
you know, as soon as he got on it, all he did was cry and scream. You know, I'm just trying to teach him how to pedal. Oh my God. Well, I know when I tried to teach Ezzy, Ezzy was like two. And I was trying to teach her and she couldn't get pedaling down either. But um, I figured boys learn that kind of stuff quicker. I thought that maybe he would want to. Because he sees his sister riding her bike all over town. But, no. No, he don't want to even look at that damn thing. Maybe if I painted it or something, made it look cool. I don't know. If you guys have any advice, you know, feel free to leave a comment. Alright, so I'm out in the shop now. And um, I was just... I don't know what I was doing. What was I doing? I'm playing on a computer or something, but anyway, I was just thinking about my hunting knife and um, how it's got a loose handle on it. And so I think I'm going to take a look at it. And I got it in a vise right now. I'm trying to pull off the grip here, but I think I got to punch the, this. Because, see, I look at. I just did that, but it was really. You can see. It's some new epoxy. Or, I could put in a whole new handle. See if I can get that out. Alright, so I got the handle all clean, had a lot of glue on it, the only problem now is there's a lot of glue on the inside of the handle as well, not sure how that's going to work. All right, so we mix. And we have eight minutes. Let's start setting up right away. So take this off. Always be, well, I sound like I know what I'm talking about here, and really this is my first time, well, probably third time doing this. I used to do it when I was a kid to my old knives, but I'm always very generous. I get all sides. the handle on and I got a clamp right here I have to clean off the uh, stuff as well that's on there but that's the hard part you gotta be somewhat oh hard guys I'm telling you Come on. Get down there. I don't think about it it's too too late 
I should have used a corn. Oh shit. This sucks a lot. Doesn't hope that the handle is rubber. Bleep, 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 bleep. <laughs> um, gotta be on there nice and tight, but obviously it can't get on too tight because it's rubber. Guess that's gonna have to work. All right, and I'm gonna just let it, you know, do its thing. And I gotta dry off. Should have some paper towel out here. Get that dried off before it hardens or sets even. So, I will be right back. God. as good as it's gonna get so now it's time to uh just let it dry oh i just got done nearly killing myself here oh my god oh, i was working over here earlier and i was um sharpening up all the knives and whatnot in the house and uh you know i got just got done doing this you guys just saw that and but I was like, God, there ain't enough light here, you know? And, uh, well, I ain't gonna show you, but it was dark. It was really dark. And um, the only lights I have are these and the one above the hot tub over there. But I'm like, you know, I've got another light. Why don't I just install that, you know? And so I did, and there it is. But I almost died doing it, like, three different times. <laughs> First, getting up there and trying to hold it and drill it in at the same time on a ladder and then the bit falls out of the drill and then the next time the actual screw falls out of my hand and then my foot slips on the ladder and I oh my god it was just ridiculous it was like stupid dangerous and um well then it's like okay so I get this light up but it's got this female plug-in and a male plug-in or whatever and um so I'm thinking okay well I'll run the extension cord to this and then plug in the outlet or the the plug the uh, cord for this light into the female outlet, right? Well, no big deal. So I just I was like that far away, guys, that far away from plugging it in, and so I had to pull that tight, and then I had to go over there and it lifted the whole light up one side. And I'm like, oh my god, so I have to go over here now, and then I have to climb up and shorten the chain, and when I get up there to shorten the chain, I forgot the pliers, so I come back down, I bring the pliers up, and I, I, I don't know what happened, I was unhooking a link, and the pliers slipped out of my hand, so I'm like, oh shit, so I went all the way down, got back up, 
then I, I get the link unhooked and I drop the link, you know, or the, the little hook. And so I'm like, so I have to come back down, find the hook. And then I have to come over here and then I have to fix this side. And I get up here and as I'm, I'm just as clumsy as they fucking get, guys. I'm not even going to try and explain anymore. Jeez Louise. I was like, that. this should be a comedy show. But at least I have light. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Yeah, we really uh, got to, me and Amanda got to talk about insulating that. It's going to be hard to do with all my tools and everything now. It's going to be really hard to do. And it's going to be expensive. All this insulation, you know, all of, I want to insulate the whole thing. Oh, man. Not to mention that window right there is broken. So I'm going to have to fix that before it snows. Um, oh, and then you see the rafters, you know, they're, oh, yeah, get this, guys. Do you have any idea what all that is? Can you guess? Leave a guess in the comments. I'll let you know on the next video. I'll give you a hint. Hmm. No, if I give you a hint, I'll give it away. But just look at it. I don't know if you guys can see or not, but I'll get real close. That... Okay, here's a hint. That was a headache. That was literally the one thing that frustrated me the most in this place was that. So leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. Um, but yeah, so what I want to do now is I want to put boards on top all the way probably about oh to here and then leave this open or maybe I'll close it off I don't know yet but that way we'll have storage up there a lot of storage and it'll contain the heat a lot better as well so figure that one out that's a lot of sheets of plywood right there it's gonna have to be three quarter inch too because it's got to be strong enough to hold you know all that weight so whew, I'm warm guys it's muggy out it's really muggy out today but um yeah, not doing too much else. Debating on making a knife. But I still haven't made one yet. I mean, last, what was it, last July? I said I was going to get all excited, or I got all excited because I had my own shop, and I started making lawn art. How did I go from knives to lawn art? I don't know. But, um... I was good at it. I am good at it, so I don't know. And I've got really good steel to work with, too. And then this bunch of steel in there. There's steel over there. Oh, you know what I've got that I think would really make good, good knives? But I have to straighten it. Is these. I think that's really hard steel. I don't know. But I've got a lot of them. I probably got about 20 or 30 of them from my old disc. And I still got half that old disc back at the farm. If I ever go back, I'm going to try and go back and get it. And um, I don't know if I would, how would I do it? Because it would have to be torn apart. And I'm not going to use a sawzall or any of that. It's got to be a plasma cutter. Otherwise, it'll take forever in a day. Anyway, back to the knives. I mean, I've got all this good steel lying around, you know, and um, I'm familiar with making it. The only problem I have is the bevels. The bevels, which for those of you that don't know, are, is this. That's the bevel. That's what, you know, goes from the top of the knife down to make the edge. I'm going to slash myself in the throat here if I'm not careful. Uh, and those are the hardest to make. And I think that it's definitely the most challenging. But I mean, I've got all the necessary tools. I've got this really expensive Palmgren 2x6 grinder. And or a sander. I've got this uh, one. I don't know what this one is. But this one's a really good one as well. You know, and it's like I've got grinders. I've got sanders. Uh, the only thing I really need that I don't have is a forge to heat treat the blades. And I think that's what's really been holding me back. Like, this was my forge. And right there. 
I was thinking about making one um, out of a, uh, where is it? Now, I've seen a few videos on how to make a forge out of an old air compressor tank, which I have right there. I mean, I've got all the necessary stuff, except the thermal wrapping. You know, you gotta have that ceramic wrapping on the inside of it, or insulation. And uh, that's, well, it's not too expensive, but I don't know, I just haven't felt ambitious enough. And not to mention money is extremely tight. So I guess, you know, if you guys want to see this happen, if you want, and this is only if you want, if you want me, if you want me to start making knives, donate a little money so I can get it up and going. Because I need, I can't do it without heat treating. There's just no way possible because there's going to be grinding. There's going to be all sorts of different things happening to the blade that's going to make it lose its temperament. You know, plasma cutting, all that. Um, yeah, and I can't do it without, without a little financial help here. So, if you guys want me to build that forge, I can do it. I just need a little financial help. So, um, I don't know, maybe I'll submit a link or something like that. If you guys don't, if you think I'm begging, ignore this. I feel kind of stupid, really even seen but I need it I, I want to make some knives because knives will sell whereas this lawn art I'm sitting on it for weeks at a time and I'm not making any money and some of you are like well go get a job well you know I have tried many times now and um, this shoulder is really bad and I'm a liability and I've tried everything I can try now I there is a, and this, I'm totally rambling now oh my god I'm sorry guys <laughs> but something happened yesterday that kind of motivated me. Um, there was a, well, I took Amanda to the grocery store, and there was a display because there's an Ace Hardware connected to the grocery store. And there was a uh, crossbow display outside, and I'm like, oh, cool, you know. I know, my, I, I know enough about crossbows to be dangerous, and I walked over there, and I started talking to a guy, and we started, sh you know, sharing stories, and I told him I'd make YouTube videos, and... He's like, so does everybody else. <laughs> and um, uh, anyway, so I was like, I go, not to be um, too nosy, but how do I get a gig like what you're doing? And essentially all he's doing is driving around, setting up a display, showing the crossbows, and, and providing, um, you know, word of mouth for these beautiful crossbows. And I'm like, you know, I, I would love to do something like that because I'm very personable. I'm very, yeah, I can talk to literally anybody. And I feel like I would really be good at that. And he's like, well, he goes, you got to go on the website. You got to send in a resume and all this other stuff. And I'm like, oh, hmm, resume. Hmm, I don't have any experience in sales. I mean, I do, I guess if you count selling my stuff and doing Craigslist and all that, I have experience there. I think I'm pretty good at it too. And I'm a good um, negotiator as well. So I think I'd be okay at it. It's just I don't have any legit experience. So anyway, um, so that kind of made me think like, hey, if I really put in the time and effort, maybe I can get this job. Maybe I, because what I'd be doing I remember the title, but I'd be traveling around and you know, going to um, tra uh, trade shows and stuff of that nature. And I could also spread the word about my crossbow or my, my YouTube stuff as well. And um, I don't know. So if you guys have any advice, again, leave a comment. I need more comments, guys, obviously. So, uh, yeah. But I think that's it for the day. I don't really have too much else going on. Jack's still sleeping. Um, as he's, who knows, playing, watching TV, I don't know. And, um, I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm going to go make a steak. So, uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.